YouTube, what's good YouTube? What is going on? What is happening? All right, of course, it's your guy one more time, Desiree Alex Jr. And we are back yet again with another with another fragrance video, okay? So my Smell Good family, hopefully you guys are doing great, doing fantastic, positive energy and positive vibes. I hope that uh, all of you guys are experiencing just that, okay? So um, today's video is, is pretty cool, man, and uh, it's a result of what you guys have been asking for. So over the past couple of weeks, maybe in the, maybe even month, um, I've had a lot of ladies come out and say, hey, we would love to see your wife's choices of uh, you know what she thinks are your most sexiest fragrances in your collection. So I let her know that. She was more than happy to come in and select the fragrances, and she did exact, exactly that. This was supposed to be seven fragrances, seven fragrances that my wife feels are the most sexy in my collection, but she said it had to be eight because there was one that she said it has to be on there. Like, I can't put it back. I can't do seven. It has to be eight. All right. So um, this is what I was talking about on my live. If you guys are recommending certain videos of what recommendations are, um, are there or I can provide, let me know and we can run them. And this is another video uh, as a result of you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right. Up first, this is the fragrance that made it last. She didn't say this was in last place or anything like that but that's why this video had to be eight instead of seven from the house of Giorgio Armani we have Aqua de Joe's absolute absolute all right so I remember when I got this fragrance from my local dealers me and her were together she smelled it and she just kind of gave this kind of shiver thing when she smelled it and uh, a couple of weeks later after I purchased it her birthday uh, was here and she wanted me to wear this for her birthday dinner so I wore it and um she just had all kind of small remarks that she made throughout the evening as a result of me wearing this fragrance. Um, truth be told, this is my favorite from the line. This one and the EDP give a uh, are a very very close, but this one doesn't get the love. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter because my wife thinks this this is a uh, one of the more sexier fragrances in the collection, and I do keep that in mind when me and her are going out and spending time with each other. So, again, this is one of hers uh, that she said had to make the list from the house of Giorgio Armani. All right, we have Aqua Dijos, absolute, absolute, great stuff here. All right. Up next, from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, we have Ultramol. Ultramol. This one right here, a lot of women love this one. A lot of women deem this sexy. A lot of women uh, uh, really have a lot of positive things to say, including my wife. Well, she loves this one so much, and I'm not sure she thinks it's sexy on me or it's sexy on her because she also wears this fragrance. She'll come in and spray a couple sprays on herself because she likes the DNA. Matter of fact, my sister had mentioned that this is something that she would like to wear as well. So they don't market it as unisex, but it seems like a lot of women don't mind wearing this fragrance. And I found that super attractive. All right. So this is another fragrance for my collection that my wife deems the most sexiest uh, that I have and that I have worn around her. Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramol. Ultramol. Okay. All right, next up from the house of Rojas, all right, we have Rojas Mustache, the EDP. EDP. I remember wearing this for the first time, and she was, my wife was like, oh yeah, whatever that is, it is a, it's, 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 it's filling up the room in a very good way. She finds this very sexy. She says she really loves this a lot. Quote, unquote, I love this a lot, all right? And so do I. All right. So especially when we're in, I'll get the opportunity to go out and kind of, you know, put it on a little bit. And then, you know, I can spray something like this on. I definitely keep that in mind. So this is another one that she deems very sexy and that she enjoys that I wear from the house of Rojas. All right. We have Moustache EDP. EDP. This stuff is really good, fellas. Really good. All right. All right. Up next. Um. This might be number one or two for her, um, and it's beyond great from the house of Paco Rabanne, all right? We have one million lucky. One million lucky. This thing is absolutely great. I, it is super, super good. That uh, hazelnut and plum and honey DNA makes it ultra, ultra sexy. 
Um, I remember on Valentine's Day last year, this is the fragrance that I wore, and my wife just kept getting wafts and wafts throughout the evening, and she was just like literally smelling in the air of the restaurant that we went to. The waitress there also gave me a compliment, and she told my wife, I'm not trying to be rude, but you smell really, really good. So, of course, my wife didn't take offense to that at all, um, but uh, she agrees. Um, and this is just one that has that effect, all right? So, this is another sexy one in my collection that my wife really, really enjoys on me. And um, I'm glad that she does because I enjoy it as well. So, again, from the house of Paco Rabanne, we have one million lucky. One million lucky. All right, this next one surprised me. It surprised me, and I guess I shouldn't have been surprised because the very first time I wore it, she texted me because I wore it to work, and she was letting me know how she feels about it. From the house of Navitus, all right, Navitus Parfums, we have Viva More. Viva More. Viva More. Now, this is a combination of Creed Aventus and Baccarat Rouge 540, and boy, did they knock this one out of the park. Uh, during our anniversary, I brought this fragrance with me. Um, we went to Savannah, Georgia, and um, she was loving it. Um, she comes in and smells the atomizer on this one, and it's because she's a fan of the DNA of the Baccarat Rouge 540, but that creative vintage element really, really, um, uh, I guess, hypes it up, and um, she loves it. In fact, she called it, it's intoxicating. All right, an intoxicating, very sexy scent. And she is very vocal about how she feels about this scent. So I was surprised, but I guess I wasn't due to her natural reactions to it. From the house of Novatis, Novatis Parfums, we have Viva More. Viva More. Very sexy fragrance, fellas. Good combination of Creed Aventus and Baccarat Rouge 540. All right, another one that is on the list that she says uh, she loves as well and she thinks is very sexy from the house of Coach. All right, we have Coach for Men. Coach for Men. This one right here is just an all-timer and just a classic. A couple of years ago, I wore this on Valentine's night and um, she was loving it. She was loving it every time I wear it, she loving it. It's like she can kind of pick it up when I'm wearing it and she makes her way over to me and smells me in. You know, she might not know exactly what it is, but she realizes, hey, I know this from somewhere. What is that? And I tell her it's coach. And she's she's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is really, really good. Very sexy scent. So this is another one, a classic um, that she really appreciates and that she deems sexy. All right. So from the house of coach. All right. We have coach for men. Uh, the original there. Classic juice, man classic all right next up we have two more all right next up uh this is just a this is what sexy is especially for the fall and the winter in my opinion especially if you love vanilla from the house of mercedes-benz all right we have mercedes-benz club black all right mercedes-benz club black she loves this stuff she loves it she was like mm, um she said that she remembers the first time that i wore it and caught a whiff of it and she did the little shake thing again it was like mm, smell good and when she was smelling in the office she was like mm, 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 smelling the tester strip so this is a, a another sexy fragrance especially for the time of year that we in the fall and the winter time you get this out there in that cooler air with that uh vanilla that uh that incense uh, uh incense note that just gives off this slightly gourmand uh almost niche quality uh fragrance in my opinion this stuff is really really good and my wife just she says she loves it she says she loves it and she deems it very 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 sexy so again from the house of mercedes benz all right we have mercedes benz club black club black all right and last but not least she says this is the number one fragrance to her that i have that i own and it makes me very happy that she thinks that from the house of chanel that's right we have blue de chanel the parfum blue de chanel the parfum she says this is it all right of course she's a major fan of the blue de chanel line obviously but this right here in particular is just done exceptionally well this is niche quality on a designer level 
Um, they remove a lot of uh, notes and chords from the EDT and the EDP, and you kind of get this uh, ultra uh, refined, uh, polished, uh, I guess as high as it can go today, unless they come out with an elixir or something like that. But this is what you get, and my wife recognizes that. Uh, multiple occasions when we've gone out, she's requested me to wear this, and uh, this one means a lot to me for personal reasons that I won't get into. Um, but uh, right now at least but uh, this is this is the one for her. This is number one on her list She deems this the best in my collection and also the sexiest from the house of Chanel one more time We have blue to Chanel the parfum Parfum well fellas. I rolled out some bangers. These are all my wife's picks uh, eight sexy fragrances that she uh, that she's rocking with all right so if you don't have these fellas maybe you should look into them from a woman's perspective all right and uh, ladies you know uh, if you're looking to get uh, your guy something uh, you know look at one of these all right Tr trust me these are all good and my wife has great taste obviously <laughs> no I'm just playing but uh, she has great taste for sure in her fragrances and all of these do a fantastic job all right so that's gonna be today's video hopefully you guys uh, got something from it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um, please do me a favor uh, if you would like to be the next you know member of the smell good family if you're just wondering how to do that like comment and subscribe and meet me down in the comments so we can talk about what you love and what i love and that is the art of fragrances okay so it's always good to smell sexy it's always good to smell sexy and uh fellas one of these can get you there for sure all right so until next time y'all be cool be safe take care of yourselves and uh remember it's mandatory it's splacker season all year round especially now so splacker up splacker down and splacker that thing all around you Forget what they talking about. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. All right, y'all.